our video topics is equatorial trout or the intertropical convergence zone that is ITCZ. Now what is ITCZ? It is the most noticeable aspects of global circulation. The ITCZ is a zone of low pressure near the equator where two easterly trade winds originating from the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere converge to form a region of increased convection, cloudiness and precipitation. A belt of low level convergence and upper level divergence with strong upward motion, deep penetrative convection and frequent cloudiness characterize the ITC rate. How equatorial trough forms? A trough is the result of the movements of the air in the atmosphere. In regions where there is upward movement near the ground and divergence at altitude, there is a loss of mass. The pressure becomes lower at this point. At upper levels of the atmosphere, this occurs when there is a meeting of a mass of cold air and another hot alone a thin ribbon called a frontal verruclinic zone. What causes intertropical convergence zone? Intertropical convergence zone is caused by the convergence of northeast and southeast trade winds in the area encircling Earth near the equator. We must know about the trade winds and air masses. Trade winds, sternly winds that circle the Earth near the equator. Air masses, a volume of air defined by its temperature and water vapor content. Characteristics of equatorial drop. We can see that the characteristics of equatorial trough in many categorized that are location, low air pressure, precipitation, humidity and storm type. Location The equatorial trough is characterized by inconsistent location around the equator. Low air pressure The equatorial trough has low air pressure near the earth surface. Precipitation or humidity the equatorial trough therefore can see incredible amounts of precipitation and high humidity. Storm type Rainfall in the equatorial trough typically is not gentle rainfall that lasts for long periods. The intertropical convergence zone and monsoons are related. This is because the global circulation shift as a result of the tilt of the earth exists relative to the orbit around the sun. In Northern Hemisphere summer, the Northern Hemisphere is tilted toward the sun and receives more radiation than the Southern and vice versa for Northern winter. The Southern Hemisphere is affected in the same way. Without the tilt, we would not experience any season. In this tropic, the largest amount of energy reaches the region where the sun is at the zenith. In the Northern summer, this region is north of the equation, whereas in winter it is in at the sun. The position of IT season can vary with the seasons and like behind the sun, greatly position above the earth's surface by about 1 to 2 months and more or less generally to the thermal equator, since water has a higher capacity than land. Uh, in July and August, about the Atlantic and Pacific, the IT season is between 5 and 15 degrees north of the equator. The ITCZ can move further north or south over the land than above the oceans because it is drawn toward the areas of the warmest surface temperature. The location of ITCZ can vary as much as 40 degree to 45 degree of latitude on the, the equator on the land. It moves toward the southern hemisphere from September to February. The intertropical convergence zone, which short form is ITC. Jet. So, in July, the ITC jet is located around latitude of 20 north to 25 north and sometimes called the monsoon trough. It encourages the development of thermal law over north and northwest. The movement of ITC jet is not only important for wind circulation but also bringing moist current as wind flow from high to low pressure and low pressure June moves accordingly as the ITC jet oscillates and northward and southward. Some significant roles of equatorial trough plays an vital role in atmospheric energy balance. 
releases excessive heat through convection. Influence ocean and land air to link on a local scale. Key components of the global circulation system. Responsible for wet and dry seasons in the tropics. Important in analyzing Earth climate on a global scale. Play a critical role in determining precipitation patterns. In addition, the accurate detection of equatorial trough is highly significant for guiding the model improvements, especially in the particle and latitudinal variation. The impact of equatorial trough on weather. The first point is effect in rainfall due to the variation of location. The second one is longer term changes resulted severe droughts and floods. Then the third impact is helps the formation of cyclone because it's a zone of wind and speed. The th fourth one is areas equatorial trough characterized by convective activity which generates of often very vigorous thunderstorms over large areas. And the last not least is encounters of hazards associated with cumulonimbus clouds such as icy, turbulence, wind shear. That's all about equatorial trough. We thank you for watching.